Hey guys, what's up? I have a recap video. The background is my so far of uh, Michael McDonald. Um, took out the um, Dan Hardy, replaced it with a Michael McDonald UFC promo, and uh, two cards so far. This slot, I will put the um, the Bloodlines. This is the 2012 finest, and then um, the 2012 knockout. I think I have his moment of truth, but it's a it's a landscape oriented card, so it doesn't really fit. So we'll leave that for that for there today. Get, get all set up here. One second. All right, here we go. Well, today um, I was hoping for a mail day uh, from Brazil, but no dice. And uh, I went through, checked my spreadsheet and my letter of request. Since I did my letter of request in Portuguese with Google Google Translate, um, I had it in a Word document. So I checked out my letter of request, and I see that I requested a UFC promo. So I saw that um, a buddy of mine got the return from Brazil on Tuesday. So I was hoping for mine on Tuesday, or at least today, but no dice. So I went back and looked and I saw I requested a promo, so I think it might take longer for them to add a promo to my return mailer with my tops cards. So um, it'll be cool when that one comes in, but I do have a nice mojo that came in on Saturday. And the two other returns that were that were really, really good. Um, let me see if I have my binder down here. I do. One second. Alright, so... Um, start off with a return that came back on Friday after 283 days. Get these out of the penny sleeves. I was trying to protect the silver. Um, a long-awaited return from the snake, Surreal Diabati. Um, I had sent this off when he was in camp with Henderson for the um, Johnny Bones fight. And um, Surreal said he received it, and then he signed it. But then he left it at Dan's place. When he said Dan's place, I thought he meant Team Quest, but he literally meant Dan's place, like Dan's house. So um, these must have been sitting at Dan's house for a while, and then finally uh, received them on Friday after a really long wait. So I got the title shot, and then the um, the one of the one of 288 uh, 2010 knockout. So that was cool. I'm going to try and get some moment of truth to send off. I got an address for him in France. So I'll send that off again. And then the second return, I'm really, really happy for. It took a couple months to get. It took some correspondence as well. But if you guys remember my videos, remember when I did the reveal and I had some, I had some uh, cards taped to this piece of uh, document folder. And he signed the folder instead of the cards. Well, that was a few months ago. Those were via venue. I here did it again. I'm not, I'm not ready to show these yet because they're in the penny sleeves again. So, one sec. Take these out. One of each of these is for trade. I think two. I'll have I'll have two round fours for trade because I have one of these signed in silver that I, that I got from Skis. But uh, here's a round four from Dennis Seaver. Went through um, thanks to to BJ for the for the information on where to mail, and then it did, it did take some correspondence to have them find my cards, and then what he wanted to do do with the cards. His manager was like, "So what do you want Dennis to do with the cards?" And uh, I thought my letter was pretty clear that I really wanted to get them signed for my collection. So I got the Seaver round four, uh, duplicate round four, and then um, two moment of truth, nicely signed in black. And then this one is for trade. So really nice to get those back. Got them from Germany. Took a couple months, but uh, really well well worth it. Um, satisfied with those, uh, especially the, getting the moment of truth in. I did, like I said, it was hard to get. Uh, my, my pal Skis gave me a round four that's nicely signed in silver. But uh, I'm going to take a look at which one I want to keep most. And then I'll have two, two available for trade. One black and maybe one in silver. So stay tuned. Let me know if you need or want to trade for the moment of truth or round four. 
we can gladly do something. So now I can take this stupid piece of garbage, which I wasn't going to do anything with anyways, and just whatever with it, you know. Uh, before we get to the mojo, I did win something. This was in a, uh, I think this was in, no, this was in a pick'em contest on Combat Cardboard. So big thanks to those guys there, and especially Alex Harvey for for the site. So uh, I, I was able to win this dual relic with Noak and Kamozi. So Chris, Chris, this is coming your way. You're a Kamozi fan, so this will fit well in your collection. Not so much mine. If I had to do anything with it, I would TTM it to Kamozi, and uh, but I'm, I'm good on Kamozi, so it's coming your way, Chris. So look for that. And uh, no, it's not the the Kamozi surprise wasn't Kamozi's jack, as as you're hoping for. So now on to a bit of a mojo. Actually, a big mojo. Check this out. Oh yeah, it is true guys, I pulled off a nice, nice TTM, and uh, nice to get one and only George's St. Pierre, got this um, on Saturday, the 420, what up 420, 419, got a minute, um, so yeah, that was cool to get this, uh, I think it took... 78 days from what I remember and uh, just went through the um, the website contact info the George St. Pierre con uh, fan site or whatever there's a contact there's a contact info on there I just went through that through that route I think also I sent an email to his to one of his managers and asked if there's a better address and um, they, they responded that I should use that website info which I had already done and then I told them that I'd never received anything back from there, so maybe my email bumped it up. But I think somebody else also got their their TTM back also, so it wasn't just me. Um, but really happy with this. Uh, I think one in my, one of my next few videos I'll show a bunch of um, my 2012 finest. I think I actually do have some 2012 finest over here. So that was my mojo on Saturday. Let's see if I can flip to it real quick here and maybe do just a little bit of a. I can do some of the 2012 finest. Most of my 2012 finest are portrait ones, and they're up on the wall already. Let's see if I can find them here. Uh, 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 uh. What the heck? Should have a couple pages of them. And I don't know what's going on. Flipping through my binder here. Oh, here they are. So here, here's some of the uh, other 2012s that I got. Got the. Um, let's see if I can focus. Got the Elkakui Ferguson, Coke, Tyrone Woodley. I'm waiting on a new TTM for him. Uh, Dodson, Campman, Hayoki. Got that done in Chicago. That was cool. Got this done in Chicago. Demetrius, Stroni, I got that done in, maybe that was TTM, Brandon Vera, that was TTM, and Frankie Edgar, I forget where I got that, Bart was TTM, Brenneman was TTM, Belcher TTM, Miller TTM, there, there's, a, there's another landscape, McDonald, Sugar Rashad, and these are the 2011s, and more 2011s. So, um, but I'll show you the, the, the other, um, portrait style ones I got in the collage already. It, it looks pretty sweet. So, uh, that's all I got for now. Um, look for another good video. I got a bunch of stuff coming back from San Jose that I got done in person with help. Some really, really, really great stuff. Some new additions to the collection. So, video should be pretty sweet. And, uh, that's that. So, I'm caught up. Hope to talk to you guys again later. See ya.